गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द केमिस्ट्री क्लास होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग गुड एंड टूडे आई विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर चैप्टर ओके फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन दैट नेम द फॉलोइंग नेम द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज गिवेन दैट ए पॉली एटोमिक आयन पॉली एटोमिक आयन विथ चार्ज माइनस थ्री so definitely your answer will be phosphate phosphate is an polyatomic ion and minus 3 charge is there so your answer is po4 c minus next question number 2 an element of group 17 of the periodic table an element of group 17 in the periodic table okay so your answer will be chlorine you can write any element like chlorine chlorine bromine iodine acetaldehyde okay acha next question number 3 is given a member of period 3 a member of period 3 of the periodic table periodic table okay so definitely your answer will be sodium okay sodium is uh, present in period 3 or you can write magnesium you can write boron you can write uh, sorry you can write aluminum okay you can write silicon okay next question number 4 the smallest particle of a compound that can exist independently so we know that the smallest particle of a compound will be atom but atom does not exist uh, independently so your answer will be molecule okay smallest particle of a compound will be molecule and molecule can exist independently so your answer is molecule next question number 5 a group of atoms that functions as a single unit definitely your answer will be what radical and we know that radicals are generally two types one is called acid radical another is called base radical so you can write radical or you can write acid radical or base radical okay so in this way you have to practice the questions answer and by discussing the questions and their answers we are also doing the revision of this chapter 
So next is there MCQ type of question that is very important. First question is given. So the question is B or question number two we can tell that choose the correct option. First question is given. Which one of the following? Is an example of triatomic molecule. So here options are given. Option A is given CO. Option B is given S2. Option C is given CO2, option D is given HCl. So here you see triatomic, that means molecule containing three atoms. Here two atoms is there in carbon monoxide. It is not the answer. S2, actually it will be S8. S2 never exists, although it is containing two atoms. Carbon dioxide containing three atoms is a triatomic molecule. Okay, HCl is diatomic molecule. So this will be your correct answer. Next question number two. Which one of the following is an example of a molecule? Okay. First option is given that OH minus. Option B is given O, option C is given O2, and option D is given H+. So first one is hydroxide ion, this is not a molecule. This one is oxygen atom, this one is oxygen molecule, and this one is uh, hydrogen ion. So definitely your answer C, uh, option C is the correct answer, okay? Next question number three. Identify the cation Options are given that H plus Option B is given that CO2 Option C is given SO2 And option D is given that Cl minus. So cations means containing positive charge. So definitely your answer will be the H plus. Okay, this will be the correct answer. Carbon dioxide molecule, sulfur dioxide neutral molecule, and Cl minus is anion. So here is positive charge. So this is, will be your cation. <coughs> Next question number four. Which polyatomic ion? Polyatomic ion. Okay. Contents sulfate ion. Options are given sodium sulfite. Option B is given sodium sulfide. Option C is given sodium sulfate. And option E is given sodium bisulfate. Okay, so definitely sodium sulfide is Na2SO3. So the radical acidic will be SO3 minus SO3 2 minus. Sodium sulfide is H2 minus that Na2S that's H2 minus is present. Sodium 
sulfate that is Na2SO4. So SO4 2 minus is present. Okay. So it contains okay uh, that polyatomic ion. Okay. So this will be your correct answer. This one. Here answer should, uh, question should be that in which uh, compound that polyatomic ion okay SO4 2 minus present okay. Next question is given that which one of the following I which one which of the following atom exists freely or you can tell independently. Options are given A hydrogen. Option B is given helium, option C is given lithium, option D is given carbon. So definitely we know that generally atoms do not okay, exist freely or independently. Okay? So they are combining with other atoms or other elements. So as here uh, this hydrogen will form H2 and lithium having the metallic bond, carbon also forming coherent compound. So uh, only inert gases, okay, they exist in the atomic state. So here your answer will be the helium. Hope you can understand. Next today I will discuss some picture based questions, okay. Already these questions I have given in your revision test, okay. That picture based question answer today I will discuss it. Okay, first one figure is drawn and from the figure we are asking this question. Suppose this is your nucleus and inside the nucleus there is some particles are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And inside the nucleus another type of particle is present that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Outside this nucleus, there are some circular path, okay, that is called orbit. Now, in this orbit, there will be electrons, okay. So, here you see, here one electron is there, here one electron is there. And in the next orbit, that is K cell containing two electrons. Okay. And here also one, two, three, four, five electrons are there. Okay. Now your first question is given that what is the atomic number of the atoms shown in the figure? So here also you can count these nucleons also. From here you also get. Actually, in this case. Total number of electron. How many electrons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
so total seven electron is there okay so that means number of protons that will be also seven so here you see one two three four five six seven seven uh, blue colored okay circle is there so they are protons so number of protons is seven okay hope you can understand what i am telling acha so from here you can tell what is the atomic number of the atom shown in the figure so definitely atomic number will be 7 and 7 atomic number whose atomic number is 7 that will be the nitrogen okay carbon atomic number 6 then after nitrogen is 7 then oxygen will be 8 so definitely it is the pictorial diagram or orbital diagram okay of the nitrogen atom so here first question is there what is the atomic number of the atom shown in the figure you have to tell 7 now how many electrons are there in valence cell so valence cell this one is the valence cell outermost cell so here 1 2 3 4 5 so valence cell containing five electrons this is the answer of your second question third question is there what is the valency of the atom based on the valence electron so here valency will be 8 minus 5 that will be equal to 3 so it will take three electron okay and to get the nearest octet configuration that is the neon okay so definitely its valency will be 3 next question is given what is the name and symbol of the atom shown in the figure already i uh, declared the name that is the nitrogen that element name and its symbol will be n capital n that is the nitrogen next one is given what will be the position of this atom in the periodic table so position will be if you go to the modern periodic table okay modern periodic table it will be in the uh, after carbon is there that means group 15 group 15 or you can tell uh, this is 5a and if you tell about the period it will be in the period 2 so if you look at the periodic table first is hydrogen then is helium then lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen so after carbon it is placed okay so group 15 and period number will be the 2 so in this way we have completed okay the discussion of the question 1 and another question is there with this question some table is given so that we have to draw this table then we can be able to give the answer So here four periods are given. Periodic table is given. Periodic table, but some elements are missing and their data are missing. Okay, so first one is given group. Groups are given one, two, then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay. and here period is given also period 1 so in past period 1 there it is already mentioned that it is hydrogen okay and next here it is given helium and period 2 it is given that lithium then beryllium given okay then this place is vacant then for 14 carbon is there then again it is vacant then there is oxygen and then again vacant then after this there will be neon and in period 3 there is sodium 
and then again vacant, <coughs> then again vacant, after this there is silicon. The below carbon will be the silicon, here is silicon. Then phosphorus, again this one is vacant and this one is also vacant. Then period 4, here it is given K, potassium, then calcium given. Okay, up to this it is given. And in some cases their atomic number also mentioned here 1. Here nothing written, uh, lithium is written 3 and carbon is written 6, oxygen is written 8, neon is 10 and then sodium written 11, silicon written 14 and this one is 15 and chlorine, argon is also there, so here is chlorine, chlorine is 17 and argon symbol is given on the then potassium nothing written calcium 20 written now your first question is given complete the row of valence electron valency in terms of hydrogen and based on valence electrons ok so first you have to observe this periodic table and complete the row of valence electrons ok I think this is uh, complete the row of valence electron and valency in terms of the hydrogen and based of valence electron. So, so valency they want to know and valence electron. First in group 1, in group 1 what is the valency and valence electron. So valency first we will write valence electrons. Then after that we will discuss valency. So valence electron in the group 1 it will be 1, valence electron in here will be 2 and uh, then uh, 13 is there, ok. 13 will be the 3 and then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8 or group 18 and in this case valency will be 1. 2, 3, it will be 4, it will be 3, it will be 8 minus 6, 2, it will be 1 and it will be 0. So in this way you have to write the valence electron and valence. Find the missing name, atomic number, symbol of this element. So here there is some missing place is there. So that I am writing, okay, using that blue ink so that you can understand and their atomic number. So after lithium, barium is there, barium atomic number will be 4, then after car carbon there will be nitrogen that will be 7, then after oxygen there will be the fluorine, fluorine will be 9, then after sodium there is magnesium, its atomic number will be 12, and after phosphorus, aluminium is there, aluminium will be the 13. And here also one 5 atomic number is there that is boron. After beryllium there will be boron, okay. Then after oxygen, uh, phosphorus, below oxygen there will be sulfur, it will be 16. And argon atomic number will be 18. And potassium atomic number will be the 19. And calcium 20. In this way this period table is complete. Name an element which has valency 1. So valency 1 you can tell that all the group 1 whatever is there all have valency 1 so you can tell lithium sodium or potassium next question is there how many groups and periods are there in modern periodic table in modern periodic table total number of groups will be 18 and total number of periods will be 7 which group has the element whose molecules can exist as a single atom this will be the noble gas that means group 18 okay they, they, they are, we are considering this helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, neuron as monoatomic molecule, okay. So, they can exist as single atom. Hope you can understand. 
so in this way you have to uh, do this uh, um, picture real diagram okay next another is given that fill the entries and elements symbol and atomic number of first 20 elements that was on your task okay that you will do in your home that from atomic number 1 to 20 you have to uh, write okay their symbol their atomic number okay as well as you can write their valence electron and their valence okay so in this way today we have completed the discussion of some questions answer from this atomic structure and next class we will discuss more questions okay so today up to this thank you